greetings today we are in the 29th video and then we are amidst the series world of words i'm extremely thankful to all of you who have showered appreciation on all the platforms if you are new to the channel please do subscribe my channel learning with dr punima george and you can find me on uh, Facebook, Purnima George, and Instagram, George Purnima. Please do like and share my videos so, so that, that we reach all those people who need it. I am particularly thankful to Kanaka Lakshmi Bazolgekar and Bhavani Hadzarge for sending in the words of today's episode. Well, today we are going to again take a couple of words which sound similar that they are homophones but then um, the meanings differ there is a difference i mean when we get to know what kind of difference is there we will be baffled by that we will be floored by that <laughs> well i gave you a hint yes we are going to take up the words f l o w e r F-L-O-U-R and F-L-O-O-R. How should they be pronounced? Are they all floor? Or are the two of them floor and are the two of them flower? What it is, you know, how the things are standing. Oh, well, don't get confused. I'm here to explain all that. First word. The first word F L O W E R should be pronounced as a flower. Some of us tend to pronounce it as flower. No, that's not right. It is flower. Flower. The word flower can be used as a noun as well as a verb, and um, past participle form of it can be used as an adjective. Now, basic flower as a noun you know what flower means it is that part of a plant which is associated with bright colors and it has bright uh, and colored petals it is also associated with fragrance you know the flowers are beautiful they have this amazing fragrance yes now let's look into a phrase which is derived from flower that is in flower. When we say something is in flower, that means it is about to bloom. It is about to give out the flowers. For example, the garden is in flower. Okay, the garden is in flower. That means it is about to bloom. The garden is about to bloom with various flowers and is going to give amazing look over there. There is another phrase which is the flower of. The meaning of the flower of is the best of the group. You can make use of this phrase, the best of the group. When you want to say this, you can make use of the phrase, the flower of. For example, Mirabai Shanu is the flower of Indian weightlifting team. Kudos to the amazing girl. Yes. Do you know? The word flowered, which is the past participle form of the word flower, can be used as an adjective. Let's give an example. It is a flowered vase. What does that mean? The vase, which we are looking presently, has been decorated with flowers. Right. So the word flowered can be used as an adjective. We can use the word flower as a verb which means in flower or richly developed. For example, architecture of Karnataka flowered under hoysalas. Oh, you must see the temples of Belur and Halepid. You know, they are amazing. You will really start wondering how you could, you know, how one could um, carve such intricate designs in the stone you know you have to see the temples of Beirut and Halibut. The word which is a perfect homophone of F-L-O-W-E-R flower 
is F-L-O-U-R, flour. That means the powder of grains, usually used for you know, making cakes, making breads, chapatis, rotis, etc. That should not be pronounced like F-L-O-U-R, should, should not, not be pronounced as floor, it is flower, it is flower, right? Um, we usually use this word F-L-O-U-R, flower, along, along with another noun to make a different noun, that is flower mill. I hope you don't get confused with the pronunciation. The pronunciation of F-L-O-U-R is also flower. The word flower, F-L-O-U-R, flower, can be used as a verb as well. Do flower the dough with a little bit of flour. That means put a little bit of flour on the dough. That's what it means. So in this way, the word F-L-O-U-R can be used as a noun as well as a verb. The next word in the row is F-L-O-O-R, floor. The word F-L-O-O-R, floor is an amazing word. It can take many forms used in different contexts. For example, the basic, I mean, the face value of the word F-L-O-O-R floor is yeah. the lower surface of the room. The lower surface of the room should be called as floor. But if you go out of the room or if you go out of the house, it is not floor, it is ground. Right, out of your house. Once you step out of your house, it is ground. But once you come into a room, any room for that matter, it becomes floor. The lower surface of any room becomes a floor. I hope you understood the difference between ground and floor. It can also mean a story of a building. Right, it can also mean a story of a building. For example, my classroom is in second floor. This usually you make use of such sentences, isn't it? So, um, a story of a building is also called as floor. The base of a sea, base of any sea for that matter, is also called floor. It is not ground there. You know, English is actually a funny language. Outside the house, it is ground. But then bottom of the sea is not ground, it is floor again. <laughs> Amazing language. Now let's take a floor prizes. What does floor prizes mean? Floor prizes mean the basic amount of wages or the price decided for a job or a product. That should be called as floor price the basic price that one has to give. For example, every year we, we have this huge problem going across amongst uh, the farmers, farmers asking for the floor price for their products. That is the floor price. Floor can actually mean a place where a debate is taking place. For example, when something is happening, some debate is happening, at that point of time, that place, that room is called as floor. Uh, for example, now the floor is open for all others to speak. This is how we make use of the word floor. Floor can also mean giving shelter to somebody. For example, Rahi gave floor to Nitin. That means she provided shelter to Nitin. Another amazing use of floor is to mean to be surprised or baffled. For example, I was floored by the amazing talent this girl possessed. Or we were floored by the way in which P.V. Sindhu played. So that's how it is. The word floor can be used in so many different ways. So today we have discussed about three words F-L-O-W-R flower, F-L-O-U-R flower and F-L-O-O-R floor.
they are homophones and because they are homophones and many a time people get confused about their pronunciation we have a lot of problem with them but, but i hope my video today has put light on all these areas and then i have cleared as many doubts as you had probably whatever i knew i have tried to do so uh, let's help each other in this way i've done my bit in uh, creating this video kindly like and share it so that everybody gets benefited with this i come to the end of today's session i shall be coming with another set of interesting words in the next session till then you do take care of yourselves and spread happiness and knowledge by sharing my videos This is Dr. Purnima George taking leave of you. Thank you.